So I think I think a lot of it comes back to Clark's third law, Arthur C. Clarke, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And that's how we feel about a lot of these things. We're like, at first, it's just magic, right? You type something in and then the thing happens, you know? And I think for a lot of people, AI is kind of in that space. So one way that you can augment yourself with a language model, right? What functions should I look at for security vulnerabilities? And one of the thing about a lot of modern language models is that a lot of them are, are really good at coding, right? So the various model providers, whether we're talking about an open AI or an NVIDIA or a meta, have, have worked really hard to make these models good at coding. And so a lot of the security is a generalization of that coding skill, right? And so now it can kind of pattern match because that's all these things do, right? They don't really understand anything, which gets, gets to one of the problems uh, I'm foreshadowing. But, you know, this code fixes a, this patch fixes a use after free. And so if you're saying I'm looking for use after freeze, then the model is going to pattern match and say, oh, well, this block of code, this function looks like it may have a use after free. 